my name is Adrienne Osborne. I'm the founder and lead instructor at Performance High Vocal Training and Artist Development. Today I am going to show you the tricks that I used to sing Domino by Jesse J, a pretty high belting pop song um, without too much wear and tear in my voice. It starts out fairly high. I'm feeling sexy and free. So, this is already above your passaggio. I'm feeling sexy and free. So, you don't want to step on it too hard, but this is a really compressed song. This is a really poppy song. So, you're not going to sing it, I'm feeling sexy and free, with head voice through that whole line, because it just doesn't have the energy that you want it to have. So, chest, 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 and then on the word free, you have that F, and that F is the key. Free! So the F is a fricative consonant. It's providing a little bit of a blockage of the airflow, but the most importantly is it's unvoiced. You're not singing, you're not phonating, that is, while you sing F. Free! And that provides a tiny little hiding place for you to flip into your head voice. I'm feeling sexy and free. I'm feeling sexy and free. I'm feeling sexy and free. That was the key to that line for me. Because um, there's, there's no way you're going to sing that in chest voice. And it doesn't sound right all in a head voice. Um, Alright, so that's the end. You're like a shot of pure gold! That one I do differently, even though it's the same notes. Because it's not an F, it's a G. So, you've got a G which is stopping your airflow completely. Gah. While you say a G, there's no airflow happening. So the air is building up a little bit behind. You're like a shot of pure gold! I don't flip that one until the very top note. Uh, to get that one, I just practice from chest voice to hooked up head voice, top of chest voice to hooked up head voice, back and forth. Easier to do it quietly at first, like So that's uh, just basically rep repetition from muscle memory. And then here's uh, another big key to the song is the ooh, 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 ooh. That little thing which happens twice in the pre-chorus, I use that as a rest period for my whole vocal uh, area, my larynx, um, my tongue, everything. So um, ooh, 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 head voice, even though it starts down here on this low D. Ooh, so instead of approaching that with a heavier coordination, like ooh, 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 which you can do, but then you're piling on more pressure and your, your muscles are getting tighter, I'm using that ooh, 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 as a rest before getting into the chorus. And it's not so much that my chords need rest, it's that they need not to be tight. Because when you get into that chorus, uh, rock my world until the sun. You can't do that in chest voice, it's got to be a head voice. So you have to ha be able to be loose enough to resonate and to find that place. So, ooh, 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 rock my world. Then you're where you need to be. Rock my world. If you're already in a head voice, you don't want to have to flip up into that because it's nearly impossible. Like, ooh, 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 rock my That doesn't work. And ooh, 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 rock my yeah, That's just like strangling. So. Um, that was my key for figuring out this song, and that's a lesson to take to any song. If there's something that is challenging, challenging note, challenging word, challenging phrase, look at what comes before it. Because a lot of times the thing that's hard is made hard only because of how you're set up to hit it. So, ooh, 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 then I'm right there. Ooh, right. And then I'm just basically at the top of my chest, really masky, and then uh, every so often jumping up to that same hooked up head voice that's pretty far forward. Rock my world until the sunlight! And you can work on what tone you want. You know, if you want it to have a little bit more bite, then bring it forward. If you want it to have a little more space and roundness, then bring it back. So like... Rock my world until the sunlight! I'm opening the back of the mouth a lot there, lifting the soft palate, letting the back of the tongue stay down. Um, rock my world! I don't personally think that serves the song as well, because it's it's this like grippy pop belt, you know? Uh, so anyway, that is... Those are the tricks that I needed on that song. 
to make that work and it's really fun to sing if you do it well and it's really hard to sing if you do it badly because it's pretty high and it spends a lot of time up there but um ooh, 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 So, um, I think I got some words wrong, but the point is, every time I'm hitting that D, I'm up in that head voice. I'm, I'm literally kind of flipping back and forth the whole time between a high chest that has a lot of brightness in it and I don't let get strangled in my throat and a hooked up head voice that lands in the same place in my mask um, every time. So, hopefully that will help you sing that one or similar songs. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Give us a like, um, we'd love to stay in touch, and I'll be putting out a whole bunch more of these, so take care.